I just smoke. <laughs> Taking a dump? Ah, why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I got abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well, you know, nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. Did you see his face that last time I popped him. <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you, you, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston? <laughs> He's a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy been, uh... <laughs> been a tail catcher! Shut up. <laughs> Fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, hmm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep dust of the way from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here. He claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know. I already told nothing. Nothing. I don't know anything. Please. Please. Sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price. VIP. You know? You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What? I. Hey. This whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. Because no, 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 I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. It's Caesar's place, around the corner from your house. Of course. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit, and that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does the fuck does that matter? 
Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary, or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. So that's how that whole situation panned out. This is bullshit. This place? Davy, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? Some more. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want. Huh, man? Huh, please. Look at me, please. Come on. We haven't broken him yet. Look, look. Just tell me what to say. Mmm, decisions, decisions. Hey, hey, please, please. I know Azerbaijanis, Kyrgyzstanis, Tajikistanis, whatever you want, huh? I, I don't know what this is about. This is an important part of the great democratic experiment. Look, look. Just tell me what to say. The problem is, they all look so fun. You'll barely feel a thing. I will, I will! It's so heavy! Be gentle. No, no! Please don't hit me! Take it like a man! <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. Uh, I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Uh, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. What a dick. <laughs> <coughs> of course it does. Hey, did you see my post about my new painting? So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of them. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security have marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? 
A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave, and you fucking know it. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want to him know. up! No, please. I said loose! Tell me where to start. Are any of those teeth less useful than the others? Not the pliers! No, 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 no! My teeth are purple! Uh, 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 uh. and steak anytime soon. I don't want to get out of here. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk fucking since the day I got kidnapped. The secret That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built. I was like middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani, for all I know. What's one look like? They look eastern. Half this town looks eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. <sighs> that ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. Ah! Sorry, too oh, late, no. Trevor. Show our contestant what he's won today. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Woo! Motivate him already! If my mama had waterboarded me more often, I wouldn't be the gun-toting psychopath you see before you now. What if you get it wrong? Say this! My mom! I, I would drown! Torturer! No! I got blood in my mouth! I was drowned! Alone! Alone so cruel! Always by the book. That's my mind. Look at me. I am a genuine government man. He's wet, all right. Let up. Are we gonna get him up? Let me up. <laughs> Let me up. The government knows what's best for you. Then the government should kill me. So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 yeah? I'm telling the truth. Bushy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. Huh, no. 
You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informant no. and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. Get out the scope. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. Oh, he, he, he got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Huh? I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. This'll put hair on your chest. Not the oh, clip. Oh, shit. Not the clip. Please. I'm so curious. No clips. Don't do it. Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, you please. Okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. Well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Davey, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. Used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work, the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Then what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. I feel so fucking bad for doing this shit to oh, this man. Fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you going to hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. The government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? 
I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer. Or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. Well, it's not for everybody. Tortures. No one drives me to the airport. Run! You're free! Oh, what? But my family's here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. Fuck this Holy shit! I gotta go. <laughs> Holy crap, Ola. I'm not gonna really got shit going for him, so I guess we're back to Trevor. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the side quest, I guess. <sighs> Not too much. I gotta go all the way back to Sandy Shores. Well, it depends. Do I have enough money to actually get another business or? Or is that it for right now? Two hundred seventy-five thousand. Um. Oh, he can buy pictures, and he can buy tequila. Tequila. Okay, yeah. So you know, I'm gonna go ahead and buy these two bars for uh, Trevor. Because um, right now Michael's gonna have a higher, uh, he's gonna have a higher plateau to do it. And this business might end up going to trouble too. This is a car scrapyard. I don't know. It depends on how I'm feeling. Might go to Franklin, but it depends what it's all about. It might end up going to Trevor. Yeah, it depends. What? Uh, what else I to do? I'm gonna go ahead. And, uh, you know, before I do anything else, I could stop there before I go see Barry on the next one. How much do I have? I'm like 40, yeah, I'm like 40 G's shy of it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I'm going to go ahead and head up north. Uh, I'll come back down and yada 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 yada. Sounds good? Good? Okay. I got you, I got you. Let's see what 
what you got. Oh, yeah. Is it racist? Oh, you give me hives. You shouldn't have ran. The fuck? Oh, this car's tricked out. I hear the turbo and everything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is nice. Oh shit. be grateful for that thank you you're Greetings, welcome darling Lida. if there were more people like you the world would be a much better place i won't forget this bye for now all right bye Sahira. cute very cute No, how am I gonna get back to my car? What the hell was that? Oh, I got emails? I didn't know.
Somebody stop that guy! Hey, where the hell are you going with my bike? Thanks, man. Seriously, you saved my ass. You're welcome. Oh, this is fucking awesome. What can I say? I've never liked bullies. Okay, what we got here? I don't got enough to afford it, but yeah. Oh well, I gotta cut up when I got the scratch. Oh, well, I guess I'll go out to end the sandy shores. I'll be back later on. Oh, boom, pop. Was it earlier? I wonder what's here. Oh, this dude. Possession of a vegetable be illegal. Can I get a signature, sir? For what? <laughs> the most important fight of all. Poverty. Hmm? No, another most important fight. The AIDS. No, 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 another one. Animal welfare. Legalization. Here, sign. Shit, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Legalization of what? Of things the founding fathers took as a right to consume medicinal plants. Legalized smoke? Yeah. You fucking kidding me? I make a shitload of money selling that, all right? The last thing I can handle is legalization. Now fuck off! Take a drag. No, I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't smoke it anymore. It interferes with the speed. No, it, it's really good weed. Give it here. Uh. Yeah. It's a real mellow contemplative high that comes from here. <laughs> Those clowns over there. You gotta be kidding me. Am I really this messed up? Can you fit in the van? This is a joke with no punchline. Camera shows. Ah! 
You think I haven't killed a clown before? Too soon. Head spin. Not good. That was a little twisted. Cool. That's why they want to keep us suppressed. <laughs> Gosh, it's been really interesting talking to you. What the fuck was that, huh? It was horrible. Well, think about what I said. <laughs> to think right now. Trevor is a what? Trevor is a good guy. He cried family and got kicked and he promoted. That, 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 that's it, right? Yeah, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Ooh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's gonna leave me. I mean, this is her place and the fornicating? Mr. Raspberry Jam? Whoa! Whoa! Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam, you died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Show me. Show me! I don't want to. 